that look painful? The bard seemed lost in the maze of Macrath's dungeon. The symbols etched into the teleporters may have held the clue to finding his way out.
I always seem to find these things in the strangest places. Oh, that had to hurt. There once was a bard from Houghton, who was venturing towards a mountain. On his way through the pass, he slipped on his ass, and his head shot blood like a fountain. Don't think it's because you scared me. It's just that, uh, you're so damned ugly. I'm sure you got that even when you were alive. You have entered the Room of Awakening, and something wants to see you again. Well, I'm damn sure I don't want to see it. I'm far too curious to have you leave before I get to see what it is. You know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. Great. Someone get me a cat, then. I'll only show you the way out of here if you perform the ritual and bring back whatever wants to see you. Ah, uh, I don't think so. Very well. You'll be trapped here and die, and then you'll become a ghost and have to spend all of eternity with me. Suddenly, I'm feeling like reconsidering my decision. What do you need me to do? Simply light the torches around the room and let's see what happens. F*** that. That's the spirit. <laughs> get it? The spirit. Oh, never mind. Let's get this show started. Tell you what, after you perform the ceremony, if you're still alive, I'll teach you a little bit of magic. One down, four to go. Ah, the anticipation is killing me! Oh wait, I'm already dead. I'll be...
be real disappointed if this isn't exciting. I just can't stand it. Hurry! Okay, here it comes. There you are, boy. I missed you, buddy. And look at you now. A ghost dog. The bard was overjoyed to be reunited with his best friend. Albeit his only friend. A dog. A dog? I made a trip all the way from the netherworld, and all I got was a stupid dog? Hey, that would look good on a tunic. Maybe you lit the torches in the wrong order. Can we try again? A deal's a deal. Open the door for me and my dog. Oh, very well. But I'm so disappointed. Oh, here's that magic we talked about. Do it again! Do it again! One down, four to go. Ah, the anticipation is ki- I'll be real disappointed if this- I just can't stand it! Har okay, here it comes. Bard! Both! Quickly, my friend! Have you freed Calais? Uh, still working on that one. There's something I have to tell you. I found out in the afterlife. You are in... Sorry. Interference from the spirit world. It happens sometimes. What are you talking about, interference? Bring him back! Play back the entire message! Nothing I can do. Sorry. I just work here. Do it again. Do it again. One down. Four to go. Ah, the anticipation. I'll be real disappointed. If I just can't stand it. Okay. Here it comes. Do it again. Do it One again. One down. Ah, the anticipation. I'll be real disappointed. I just can't stand it. Hurry! Okay, here it comes. Do it again. Do it again. One down. Ah, the anticipation is killing me. I'll be real disappointed if this... I just can't stand it. Okay, here it comes. The mercenary, typical of his sort. Crude, rude, and very handy to have around in a fight. Once again, certain parallels could be drawn to the bard. A being of pure magic, 
the Enchantress could work many beneficial magics to aid her allies in times of need. I offer up my services. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger. This belt, with its buckle made from the heart of a mighty oak, imbued its wearer with enormous strength. Horseshoes are reputed to provide protection from bad luck, sorceries, and the evil eye. Once belonging to a mighty king, this cup is said to break apart with lies and be mended only by the truth. It seems to have picked up some cracks since coming into the bard's possession. This glass container held the tears of Queen Maeve of Connacht, legendary for her battles with the hero Kukalin, a chip from the Lear Fail, or Stone of Destiny, which is reputed to foretell the coming of a king by roaring when he sets foot upon it. It, of course, made no noise upon coming into the possession of the bard. A finely wrought talk of silver, this magnificent piece is certain to enhance the appearance of anyone who wears it. This belt, with its buckle made from the heart of a mighty oak, imbued... The mercenary, typical of his sort, crude, rude, and very handy to have around in a fight. Once again, certain parallels could be drawn to the bard. A skeletal being from the plane of fire, the behemoth was a fearsome opponent who could incinerate many opponents with a single devastating charge. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger.
Let there be light!
Am I good or what? You'll notice that this dungeon has no windows and no doors. Hold on a minute. Yes, it does. What? I don't see any. What is that I hear? The feet of a chosen one? Coming, oh, so near. Does he know he's not near done? Unless, of course, he meets an untimely end. Then soon I hear the feet of another round the bend. Do you seek her, the Shadow Axe? Yes, I, William Hatcher, the Chosen One, am here for the Shadow Axe! Then die. Do you seek her, the Shadow Axe? Yes, it has been promised to me. Then it's yours! Wait, is that easy? You mean there's no crazy spells from you? A fight to the death, forcing me to jump and dodge and run around like an idiot. I've had enough of the violence. Take it! On second thought, I actually like your idea better. i got to learn to keep my mouth shut. Finally, the Bard learned something which had been all too obvious to most of us from the beginning. You think? Rock on! When the Shadow Axe finally in hand, the Bard could gain entrance to the third tower where his princess waited. Most women would be happy with flowers, but Princess Calais seemed a bit more high maintenance. You think? Once again, the Bard felt his magical powers dampened by the shimmering lights. Ooh! <laughs> 
Charge!
The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. As the bard approached the small Viking town, it was apparent that things were dead. Literally. Hell had already made its way to Stromness, and the bard, as usual, was right on its tail. We don't allow your kind in here. And what kind is that? Bards? No, the living. You mean the only way to get into this town is to die? Yes. However, we can help you out with that. Free of charge. Quite neighborly of you. We aim to please. I don't want any trouble. God knows I've had more than my fair share. All I want to do is get to that island with the big tower. Do you know the way? The only way is through this town, or should I say, was through this town, through the Firbolg mines. But it needn't concern you. You'll not stay alive long. Nobody does. Well... Other than that crazy old butcher and the shopkeeper, we've been having a little trouble getting to them. Yes, good old Hatcher the Butcher. He's been nuts ever since he was driven off his farm. Here's how I see it. I need to get to the island, so I might as well just fight you. Because <laughs> whether I live or die, I get in. Well, you have a point there. Obviously. Shall we begin? For king and country! You need my help. Go away. Can't you read? I'm a traveler who needs to purchase some wares. Huh. I've fallen for that one before. Are you dead? Do I sound dead? Yes. I assure you I'm not. Just let me in. Well, you see, I can't take the chance. If you go and grab that crazy butcher and bring him back with you, I will let you in. I trust him. You don't trust me, but you trust a crazy butcher? <laughs> that makes sense. Crazy is my middle name. Now go away.
I'm the best! It was becoming clear to the Bard that in Stromness a population boom was in progress. Whenever he killed one Draugr, there was another popping up to take its place. Our hero was in a definite die-die situation. to you, my friend. You must be lost to find yourself in this godforsaken town. It seems that the dead are not doing a very good job of staying dead. Don't worry, my friend. I won't be staying long. My quest lies elsewhere. Oh, a quest! How exciting! Perhaps I can help you with a magical tune if you think you're worthy. I don't know how worthy I am, but I do know I could use all the help. If you'd be so kind, I can use all the help I can get. It'd be my pleasure and honor to help a nice lad such as yourself. Please, let me teach you this tune. I hope it'll help you on your journey. Take you. I hunger. Good day to you, my traveling friend. You're either very brave or very stupid to be wandering around this town today. In case you haven't noticed, the dead seem to be rising from their graves. I'm neither brave nor stupid. Just a humble traveler looking for a way into the Firbold Mines. If that's your intent, then you really are stupid. The fiend folk in the mines will make this town look like it was a walk in the park. I'll worry about the fin folk when I get there. But right now, I need to deal with the undead. Is there anything you can do to help? Sorry, I don't think I can help you. But I will give you some advice. I have a brother who hangs out near the store. He might be inclined to help a nice lad like yourself. Now off with you. Leave me to my music. Hell take you! You must be that crazy old butcher I heard about. <gasps> I thought I'd never see you again. Excuse me? D don't play games with me, Garrett. I thought I remembered the Droger getting you, but I guess I was wrong, because here you are. I think you've got the wrong person. Oh, don't be stupid. How could I not know? My own brother. Ah, yes, well then, I guess you're right. Uh, 
It's been a long time, eh? Uh, brother. Yes, it has been. It's been rough these last few weeks trying to survive alone. Well, there's the old shopkeeper, but he's crazy. It's a shame when your only companion is a crazy person, isn't it? You can say that again, why? Why, ever since... My boy... My only son... You all right there, brother? What? William! William, it is you! Oh, my son, I can't believe it's you! I thought you lost when you went off looking for that axe! Oh, gods, get off me, old man! Oh, no shame in public affection, my boy! You're my only son, and there's nobody else around. Well, n nobody living, except maybe that <laughs> crazy shopkeeper. I hate to interrupt, uh, father, uh, but do you know the way to the Firebolt Mines? What? Oh, of course I do, my boy. You know our farm is right next to the mine entrance. Why, our family's been trading with those Firbolt for generations. Great. Let's go to the farm. Uh, Dad. Mm, you had better lead the way. All this excitement has caused me to forget which way it is. We must head through the graveyard. Of course, naturally, through the graveyard. <laughs> Just once it would be nice if the way to get someplace were through a field of flowers. The bard couldn't help but think that once this was all over, he had a new friend he could share a drink with. He was, in fact, quite overwhelmed by the thrill of spending hours on end with the crazy old butcher. Oh, shut up. That's not what I'm thinking, and you know it. What, what was that, son? Nothing. Crazy old buzzard. I mean, father. Uh, this way, brother. This way. This is the tree that I fell out of and broke my wrist. Aren't we lucky it wasn't your neck? Hildy, come this way! Come this way! Granny! Come on, Granny! Bust those bunions with ya! Oh, I can still smell misty sweet buns! Best bakery in town! I hunger! Granny! Come on, Granny! Bust those bunions with ya! Granny! Come on, Granny! Bust those bunions with ya! Thou art found wanting! Hildy, come this way! I hunger! Hell take you! Granny! Come on, Granny! Bust those bunions with ya! Ah! Hildy, come this way! Hell take you! I don't see the butcher with you. 
Go away. Yeah, it's okay, my friend. It's me, Hatcher, and my wife, Hildy. Uh, let us in. Oh, yes. How silly of me. You're looking as lovely as ever, Hildy. I'm going to kill somebody pretty soon. Oh, and the same lovely temperament. Welcome to Torvalds. If I'm crazy enough to stay in this town, then I'm crazy enough to slash my prices. If we don't have it here, you don't want it. And if you can get it somewhere else, you don't need it. And if you can find it cheaper, I will eat my helmet. I could use some protection. Crazy Torvald understands the importance of keeping one's head. And what better way to do that than with some quality armor at insanely cheap prices? Hmm, I'm intrigued. Block with style, block with grace, and be the first one on your block to own the newest Targ Shield. Why own this year's model? When you can have the next year's model right now! Futuristic, baby! I'll buy it. That shield will block an enemy sword, just like we block high prices here at Torvalds. Show me your armor. Crazy Torvald understands the importance of keeping one's head. Hmm. I'm intrigued. You will be the talk of the town, my friend. Heck, you will be the talk of the whole countryside sporting this shield. And if you buy it now, within the next ten minutes, I'll throw in the handle for free. Am I not so what? I'll take it. You won't find a better deal anywhere. You enjoy that free handle. Let's talk about close quarters combat. Whether you're looking to cut down Kunal Trow or cutting down hedges, these items can do the trick. Wow, interesting. It's small. It's affected. Hide it in your boots. Hide it up your sleeve. This Turk is made from the finest viper steel imbued with a deadly venom. And it's guaranteed to kill your foes. And I will swallow it whole if it doesn't serve you well, my friend. Am I crazy? I'll take it. Ah, the Dirk. Good choice. Please come again. Show me your swords and flails. Whether you're looking to cut down Kunal Trow or cutting down hedges, these items can do the trick. Can you tell me about this? You have seen Ravensteel broadswords in the hands of great warriors, great kings and men of legend. Well, quit admiring this amazing weapon in the hands of others and own your very own today. I'm offering it at an insane price today only. I'll take it. The broadsword, very nice. And remember, if you see it cheaper elsewhere, then that's crazy. Show me your swords and flails. Whether you're looking to cut down Kunal Trow or cutting... Can you tell me about this? Stop looking no further. You see it, you want it, you need it. And you'll be the envy of all those who flail with this Onyx model. It will permeate, it will radiate, so do not hesitate. Buy it now. I'll take it. Excellent choice with a flail, my friend. We also sell extended warranties if you're interested. What have you got to stab and bash with? Whether you're looking to cut down... 
Oh, interesting. It slices, it dices, and it can be yours, my friend. Free crate, the sword of king. No, 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 the sword of gods. It's beautifully balanced, and the ladies will be clamoring for you, and your sword size does matter. <laughs> I'll take it. You get more with a claymore. See you, old man. Welcome back to Crazy Torvalds. Show me your bows. Well, I'm crazy, but I'm not stupid, and I see you're the same. These items will do the deed from a distance. <laughs> a little mess means easy cleanup. Hmm, this looks interesting. Thump, thump, thump. Uh, what is that sound? Thump, thump, thump. Why, it's the arrows from your brand new bow slamming into the chest of your greatest enemies. And even as they perish, they will be proud to have been slain by such fine merchandise. Just what I was looking for. Please tell your friends that you got that bow at an insane price. I'd like to see your bows. Well, I'm crazy, but I'm not stupid, and I see you're the same. Let me have a closer look. You think you're a man who has everything? Well, believe me, you have nothing until you own this bow hewn from the legendary tree, Billy Dathy. It's sleek, it's powerful, and it can be yours for an absolutely mad price. I'll take it. Yes, the legendary one of a kind bow of oh, Bill Duffy. I own three myself. Hmm, this looks interesting. Today only, it's the crazy Torvalds music sale. Buy this instrument today, and I'll throw in a piece of music that I found on a dead body of some kid who wandered into town not so long ago for free. Mm -hmm, that's right. For one low price, you can get the horn and this tune. Yes, you couldn't live another day without owning this amazing instrument. I'll take it. Enjoy the instrument and the music. See you, old man. My lack of inventory is making me crazy. Sorry, we're closed for the day. Uh, this way, brother. This way, brother. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger. A locket made by the wee folk of the southern islands, such charms were often known to bring long life and good health to their bearers. 
course, this particular charm also held a terrible curse. <laughs> All right, there's no curse, but I could dream, can't I? An amulet bearing the symbol of the sea god Lear. Whoever wears it is protected from harm. Take you. Hildy, come this way. There, this way, brother. <clears throat> Come this way! Hell take you! Uh, this way, brother! Ah! Hell take you! your friends for cake and pie. Then, we'll open gifts. I have a feeling my friends are not interested in cake or pie. <laughs> they got me! Son! William, it's your farm now. Here's the key. Take care of Hilde for me. Put a spell on you. Ready. 
Ready to scrap! Am I good or what? Stay down! I have taken my measure of thee. Heavy gloves made from the hide of a badger that imparted some of the animal's strength and ferocity into the wearer. Tragically, they also smelled very much like a dead badger. It is said the four leaves of the clover represent hope, faith, love, and luck. Only that final trait was something we could expect from the bard. Thou have been served. Thou art found wanting. I'm the best.
しょうか